morning and welcome to the Bath Studio School. Morning, Ashley. Good morning. I am James Bivings. And I'm Harry Cashel. And today we are pleased to be joined by the manager program, program manager of TED Ed Education. That's me. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed Bath so far. Oh, I loved it. It's uh, been fantastic. Apart from the mixed weather we've been having. I, I'm actually kind of a fan of the weather. I have enjoyed <laughs> it. It feels distinctly British, which is exactly <laughs> the experience that I was hoping for. Yeah, so. always a change. Yeah. <laughs> um, and how's your time been so far, apart from the weather? <laughs> it, it's been very full. It's been a yeah. very full schedule. I've visited lots of schools um, and done a lot of talking. Uh, we had I've had a couple of TEDx events, which have been really great. Nice. Um, and Yesterday, TEDx Youth Bath was an incredible experience. I got to talk with tons of students from all around, all around the area, and hearing these incredible speakers has been really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, congratulations on your talk yesterday. Um, can you tell us more about your roles in TED Ed? Yeah. So. TED Ed is an initiative, it's TED's Youth and Education Initiative. It's been around for you know, sh just shy of a decade. We started out as um, a way to make animated lessons, these short animated lessons that educators could create and share with anyone in the world. Um, and recently realized that what we needed to be doing was working more to amplify student voices from around the world. So we created TED Ed Clubs. Um, this is our third year now. And in the first couple of years, it's it grew really, really quickly. And we've had over 3,000 clubs in 120 some odd countries around the world. Whoa. So uh, the folks at TED <laughs> decided that we needed to bring somebody in to help, you know, to help kind of yeah. grow and scale this program. And that's what I do. I get to work with different areas of the world and try and bring um, bring the TED Ed format, you know, the TED format presentation literacy to mm. schools around the world. Brilliant. Um, basically, so on the TED website, it states that TED Ed's mission is to spark and celebrate the ideas of teachers and students around the world. And can you produce us with some insight on how you do that? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Obviously, like the talk yesterday was very eye-opening to all of us, I think, because we saw a lot more good, than what, um, <laughs> than what, well, a lot of us didn't really know what TED was, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. So we, we learned a lot. Teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that was, what the, and the, the smaller TEDx event that I'd done the previous day, that was what I, I opened by saying, uh, oh, right. I've just, I've just left, left conversation with TED, and we were talking about, Ted's not a person. <laughs> he is. Shame. He's not. No. There's no. There's no Ted. Um, but for the clubs program, so the work, the work that we do, it's basically, it's basically just a, a structure to put around the ideas that that young people already have. Um, so we start. It's a 13 session kind of curriculum of sorts or program that you go through where you start examining. Uh, what makes a great idea and you know you watch different talks and debate with your peers and identify things that you care about that you're passionate about that you're interested in things that you like to do and kind of dive into what story there is to tell about those things the same way that we have TED talks where there are you know experts in particular fields mm -hmm. that show you something that about a topic area that you never would have considered <laughs> before you know whether it's whether it's the prison system or plant life, um, we assume that young people have insights like that too, and all you need is to be given some tools and space to share those ideas. Yeah. So that's, we've, we've basically figured, trying to figure out a way to create some structure and then get out of the way, so <laughs> you all can be the ones sharing the, sharing the insights. Nice. Okay, so what is your long-term goal, uh, goal for TED-Ed? Oh man, big I would, question. Yeah, <laughs> the thinker. Um, Take over the world. To, to honest, well, <laughs> yeah, you know, um, I really. The, so TED Ed, we want to be a global platform for student ideas, mm. and I think the same way that TED has become a a hub and um, a, a sort of place where people go when they want to learn about something, I think we want TED Ed to be to be the global platform for student ideas. Nice. Yeah. Um, and we want we want everyone to see TED Ed as where you go if you are a student that has an idea worth sharing, which we assume that yeah. everyone every one of you are. Um, and not and always for the best. Though. Well not but you know, we need <laughs> those too. Always an idea. Always an idea. <laughs> always an idea. Yeah. They still count. Okay. Uh, yeah. So well um, you've been described as addicted to me, um, to your work. Can you explain what this means to you? Uh, 
Have I been described as that? Oh. I, I think that once, once you get the sense that, that youth voice is a thing that needs to be paid more attention to, it's really hard to kind of separate any of the, you know, to, to do any other work mm -hmm. aside from figuring out ways to better, to better create space for students to share their ideas and to, and to think about education in any, in any way other than a space for young people to, actu to actualize as humans mm -hmm. by, by exploring what's important to them. Yeah. So I, uh, I work really hard to, tr <laughs> to try and figure out whatever, whatever that means, you know, if yeah. it's trying to get clubs started in schools around the world, if it's trying to get more young people on TED stages or TEDx stages around the world. Um, once, once you kind of get going with that, you realize that there's a lot more work to be done, and I kind of like to check all the boxes yeah. off the list. So I yeah. just because there's always going to be more students. There's always going to be more. <laughs> yeah. just one more. Got to get them all. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't realize this was Pokemon. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually where where Pokemon came for the Go game came from. It was that they're. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that's a bit of a interesting, yeah, yeah. <laughs> learn something new. Um, so here at the Bath Studio School, we uh, cater to, well, very creative and open minds yes. and very hands-on and practical. Um, how does TEDx cater to open minds and hands-on experience, yeah. would you say? Um, well, we... We love the weird ones, <laughs> you know. The, the, uh, I, I think starting <clears throat> so in education, you often have this kind of prepackaged uh, curriculum, you know, yeah. certain subjects that you have to learn and, and become proficient in, and that's okay. But it's not what we do. What we do is, uh, all right, learn your subjects separately. Right now, what we want to get at is what are the things that you think about when you're not, you know, yeah. studying this particular school subject? What are the things that make your heart beat faster? What are obviously the things? Food. Obviously yeah. food. So <laughs> let, let's, <laughs> let's explore that. Where did your interest in food come from? Um, my interest in food came from my mum mostly. My mum used to, my mum's always been a good cook. She's always cooked me good food. And then um, obviously once I started trying fast food, got, became a teenager, so constantly started <laughs> eating bad food. Um, then yeah, can, what, can, what can I say? Right? I mean, I grew this belly myself. It sticks out when I push it out. I am proud of it. I've so a lot of food to do that, and I'm happy with it. This is this is a TED Ed talk, right? Here. <laughs> yeah. We're you're, this is a story that is uniquely yours to tell. Yeah, it is. And I you'll, I, I can see it now. You open by telling a story about the first meal that you yeah. remember your mom oh, cooking yeah. for you. I walk out on stage just like, do you like food? <laughs> <laughs> you better, or is she gonna die? <laughs> Tent your fingers like this, yeah. as all good TED speakers yeah. do. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, but but really, that to, to mm. your question, that's that kind of is the answer. Is you know, we, we yeah. ask some good questions, trying to get to get people to talk about what's really important to them, and mm. and then let you explore that. Yeah. So we don't we don't put boxes it's around what the ideas almost, should be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Try yeah. to maybe to maybe help help shape it and help yeah. turn it into a story that you can own and share, and that might inspire mm. someone else who also. Loves food yeah. and the fact that they've grown their own belly. Yeah, good for them. <laughs> mm. You might be well, inspiring the yeah. next generation. You never know. We'll <laughs> see my face on all the food <laughs> outside Mackey's just with my smiling face, like, yeah. <laughs> I am loving it. <laughs> <laughs> even, the even sadder thing is I work in McDonald's, so oh, like, yes. have to eat all the time. <laughs> Jimmy Allen might, might be opposed to this. He might be. This uh, new wave of, of food education that we're doing here. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be fine. <laughs> fine. Survive. Yeah. All right, well, um, we'll have to say thank you for coming in today. It's yeah. been a great pleasure. Brilliant. And I hope you've enjoyed coming to our school. I have. This is an incredible school you all have here. I yeah. can't believe that you have a studio like this. <laughs> we, we were lucky to have tables in, yeah. in my school. This is really lovely. It does the job. <laughs> it does the job. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much for, uh, for having me. I really appreciate yeah, it. No. Okay, well, cool. we're going to finish it off there. Great. I look okay. forward to uh, seeing the Bath Studio School's application to start a TED Ed Club. Yeah. See. Yeah. Hear all of your talks. It's your job then, Harry. Yeah. You can do that. I will. I'll send you guys <laughs> <on> the <laughs> food. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, then. Thank you very much for that. Thank, yeah, you. thank you, guys. Have a good day. You too.